this is such a treat to have you guys, and it's a lot of fun. And, and the podcast, all the work you guys, not even a podcast, you guys are literally all over the place and everywhere. Uh, and it's fun because it's really entertaining. It is an easy listen, but the information is top notch. I remember, I you know, in, in, in the heyday of Good Morning Football, I would be like, oh my gosh, I need to like know what's going on. Just I, I'm on. If I could get it on six speed, I would do it. Just to get. I'm like, get, get. I, I want to hear about like the dogs, guys. But get me the information. Let's go. And I would just like eat it up. And it was such an easy listen. So I wanted to get some intel out of you guys for our viewers here. Uh, we're gonna do this clock on a clock on a clock style because TV is a little different than than you sure. know. We, we want to get to a lot with 30 seconds each. And let's start with Andy. Uh, not just because. And Andy, I don't just follow you on Twitter. I follow everyone on Twitter. Oh, oh no. no, no, you don't. <laughs> You don't follow this guy. Really? But that's take, all right. Take a look. <laughs> I think I do follow oh, you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Yes. Yes, I got the yeah, follow. I've been, I've, Dreams come true. Dreams come true. Thank you, Kay. I mean, since Sirius XM days. Uh, you you yeah. know, you say you don't, you know, we know fantasy more than you. You were here before. Yeah, you yeah. don't need us. You're crazy. Yeah. Well, you're absolutely crazy, but Jason, I just followed you because I heard oh, that I didn't follow you. Oh, it's a big day. You. It don't, don't say that. But I do want to start with you with 30 seconds. I mean, obviously, NFL trade deadline's October 31st, and we have fantasy trade lines to deal with. Who is a player? Let's manifest it. Let's put the goodness out there in the second half that you're currently want to campaign someone to trade for. Who you got? Who you like? Yeah, I think uh, you brought it up on your show a couple days ago talking about Derrick Henry may, may be on his way out from Tennessee, and so... Tajay Spears is a player that you have to pay attention to. And I don't know if you want to watch the games after Derrick Henry leaves in Tennessee, if Ryan Tannehill's not out there, but Spears is an actually talented backup. He's got as many targets as a guy like Joe Mixon this year. And that's playing alongside uh, somebody with the ninth most carries in Derrick Henry. So it, Tajay Spears is a talented player. So you can grab him, throw him on your lineup and you may get a second half star. I like it. Let's go, Jason Moore. Put somebody on the map. Who do I need to trade for? Trade for Marquise Hollywood Brown. Uh, Kyler's coming back. Kyler's practicing in full. He's without a sleeve on his knee. This offense is going to take a massive step forward. While you're trading for Hollywood Brown, you're going to get a couple good weeks, and then he's going to go to the moon. And in the meantime, pick up Kyler if he's out on waivers. Prepare, because when he gets Ooh. back, people are like, he's not going to be good. He's going to be good, and he's not going to be good later. Week one, he's back. He's going to be good for fantasy football. And with 10 seconds to go, we'll see those t uh, ten last 10 seconds for Mike. Go for it. Uh, I'm going to stand for my guy, Dak Prescott. You know, it's tough in the streets for the Dak truthers and the Dak supporters lately. But here's what's going on. It's been a really wacky season for the Dallas Cowboys. Blowouts on both sides of the ball. you got to expect that that will balance out eventually. And then the most important thing for quarterbacks, aside from, you know, super talent but it's the matchups and the matchups coming up for Dak he has the third best schedule for quarterbacks third best for wide receivers 10th best for tight ends meanwhile wow fifth worst for running backs so it's shaping up that Dak Prescott who's coming off of a very great game his best game of the season I think that he's about to turn it on. Wow. Trusting Dak Prescott. Fantasy footballers are here. You guys also have a comedy podcast. It's called the Spitballers Podcast. And every week you guys have so much fun. There's like an irreverent fantasy draft. I love it. But we thought we'd put our own spin on the draft game. We're going to have you each draft one or the other. There's only three of you. So I'm going to ask each of you a question. And that person has to draft one of the other footballers. We're going to call it Drafting the Footballers right here. <laughs> World generic segment animation. All right. Andy, if you score scored two tickets to see Taylor Swift, or no, not, see, not to see her, to sit with her in the box mm. at Arrowhead for a Chiefs game. Which footballer are you drafting first overall to come along? I'll take Mike with me. Yeah. I'll take Mike Why? with me. I think he, I, I just think the, the party atmosphere, Mike is, you know, he puts on a performance for the camera. You know, the, the sideline cameras are going up there every 30 seconds. I think Michael. Oh, I'll know where special. they are. You'll know where they're at. Jason, are you not fun? No, no oh, I, 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 I am even more fun, but I don't have a neck tattoo, so the cameras, <laughs> it just doesn't work quite the same. You know, I, I would have drafted Mike over myself. <laughs> you, you're like, you both go. I have the tickets, you two go. go I don't want to go. Mike, yeah. if, you're, if you're stuck in an elevator at 7 a.m. on, let's say, like 7 a.m. West Coast Sunday morning, which footballer are you, are you choosing to set your fantasy lineup? Who do you trust? <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, that's that's such a mean question to ask me. Uh, I will go 
I'll go with Andy. Wow. We, I think, wow. I think we have the most overlapping uh, agreements. We, it's weird. We, we play the game a lot different, like our, our uh, strategies. But at the end of the day, I know that if my lineup is not ready – at that moment, Andy's going to go fire out about 150 different trade <laughs> options around the league, and he's going to make sure that exactly. we buy a win that week. <laughs> Jason, you got to get a neck tat. It sounds yeah, like. I gotta, I, that's what I learned today. <laughs> I, I need to get a neck tat. Even though I'm the reigning champion, it's Andy's setting the lineup over I thought, here. He, I thought that's she was going to say. Why. <laughs> that's why. They're just, you know, they're jealous of the championship. That's what it is. Yeah. I need to. I I I, I should have worn my ring today. He <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Jason, which of these two footballers, these tatted up footballers, are you drafting as your biggest fantasy competition for this year? <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah. an easy Andy um, for sure. It's not because he's better than Mike. It's because he's in my division in our main league. Oh. He is my nemesis, and I and I mean this with like. True sincerity, I hate him when it comes to <laughs> fantasy football. I hate his guts. I want his team you to You literally lose. said you wanted me to get in a traffic accident today <laughs> because did. of last night's Thursday night football performance. I what hate you so much. Uh, he had Josh Allen, uh, and he had Mike Evans who got that touchdown, and I had Gabe Davis on my bench. Oh, oh you bench Gabe it Davis. It was a cold, dark night for Jason. <laughs> yeah. At least you don't have a scorpion like, like glowing yeah. in your backyard. Uh, oh, no, we have those two. Yeah, that I know. <laughs> Andy. For one, yeah. for a one million dollar prize, blindside hit for Miles Garrett, can't fumble. Oh. Which of these two are you drafting? Jason Moore. Yes, Jason Thank Moore. You. We we have a history of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mike is rejoicing. Uh, flag flag football success together in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason could take a hit. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a beef boy. So I, <laughs> if one of us is gonna if one of us is gonna take the hit, it's gonna be the 260 pound guy. I'll I'll, I'll take it on. Uh, Oh, man. This is so fun. My, my, my two producers are crying. Literally, let's show that they're literally. Oh, boy. I mean, bu buxed out Eric is literally crying. <laughs> I'm loving this. And beef boy. Marissa's boy. a Philly fan. You're Take loving it. The they were yeah. just talking well about Dak Prescott, but you're happy? Hey, I, the, comedy is comedy. I'm comedy loving is this. Comedy. That's right. uh, I'm loving it, this content. It's so fun. Okay, let's do one more here. I'm having a good time with this. Um, okay, Mike, you all live in the same neighborhood. It, it's you guys talk about it a lot and it's amazing who who's most likely to have a secret doomsday bunker somewhere in their backyard <laughs> oh, man. that's a producer <laughs> yeah that's that's actually that's al borland our uh, our producer he is when, when anything hits the fan we say we need a like what am i i need a man to come and help me out <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, i don't call these guys no, we, no. we we all we call got a the, man back there we all call the producer <laughs> like i have I have FaceTimed him so, through so many home renovation like projects. Like what? Oh, like 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 my shower. Like the, I say, real basic stuff. Yeah. yeah just like <laughs> how a, do I turn my shower off? I can't. It's <laughs> well, when your shower cartridge goes bad, you can't turn it off. And I'm like, Jeremy, save me. <laughs> and he's like, this this is exactly what you have to do. And then I'm like, I'm like scribbling it all down as fast as I can. So it's it, it's not a footballer, but he he works here, so I'm counting him. No, I mean, yeah, it's like I have this piece of bread and this toaster. What do I do, Elbor? He should he should be <laughs> yes. giving me the scorpion advice, uh, and we we all love that, of course. Now listen, Taylor He'll be Swift, there in twenty minutes. Oh, great, great. Taylor Swift has her Swifties, right? And we've got you know, I'm trying to think. Um, like ICP has the Juggalos. There's all that. Like there, everyone has their community. Sports fans are a special breed altogether. I wanted to give you guys just a second. I know you talk about it's sort of just baked into what the show is. Um, what makes the Foot Clan? so special and so unique I, I i think what makes them special and unique is that they're they're good people like uh, you know and there's a lot of there's a lot of just garbage people out there um phillies and, fans oh. right phillies <gasps> fans or e oh eagles fans oh or um 76 or 76 or yeah fans, all right you know. no no <laughs> they're nicer than we are yeah, tell you that we're the worst um no the, the foot clan is about community camaraderie uh, we have this shared hobby and and when they find our show they they like us because they enjoy having a good time while getting good content and so i think that there's like a natural marriage of just being a regular person you know you, they're, they're not mm -hmm. they're not looking to uh scrape thousands of dollars off the bottom of you know their bookie they're they're just wanting to have a lot of fun 
be a, a a good family person and um and and we all we're all very like minded in that and so we all get along I think um yeah only know. one team wins I mean we're trying to have a good time throughout the whole mm-hmm. year and uh you know that's what it's always been about for us is the community of having fun and enjoying uh, one another in the league in the process and commiserating on every terrible Thursday night mm-hmm. <laughs> they're always terrible do you guys ever get uh, uh, how authentic are these not fights but like what happened last night like it's it's real like you guys are really feeling that and then you have to go and do a show but I feel like you bring a lot of obviously levity but authenticity like you bring that onto the podcast it's great yeah I mean the podcast started with these two guys making a podcast just for our league of 12 people it is <laughs> it couldn't be more authentic yeah like, it's so good yeah uh, well, you, yeah, have to, you have two successful podcasts, right? We just talked about both. You have a loyal Foot Clan following who you guys love and I can tell have a big appreciation for. What's next for the footballers? What's next, Mike? Uh, well, I mean, hopefully. Baseball. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, uh, short term, hopefully some championships. Long term, I don't. Who knows? You know, videos looking pretty good. Yeah. People are talking. People have alt casts. I'll just throw that out into the universe. Yeah, just throw it out there. Mm. We'll hang out with you on Thursday night. Whoa. Yeah. We'll have you whoa, on our whoa, 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 whoa! Very interesting. You guys crush it on YouTube. YouTube's doing amazing things with yeah with what they got going on with the ticket. Interesting. <laughs> Highest bidder. These guys are amazing. Mike, Jason, Andy. I'm so glad, and I appreciate you guys like just taking the time. Truly, just watching you guys do what you've done for so long, so consistently. It's fun, and it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of commitment, and a lot of sacrifice, and a lot of fun. So I'm super grateful for the time, for the intel, the info of course and if listen people out there if you want to win your fantasy league you already know subscribe to the fantasy footballers the podcast is streaming everywhere all platforms um you can join the foot clan on patreon you can check out their weekly fantasy football rankings over at the fantasyfootballers.com andy jason mike thank you guys thank, thank you we yes, love you thank you okay and al 20 minutes i'll see you at the, uh, at the crib in brentwood i'll see you uh, we'll have to figure that out my goodness thanks for watching subscribe here to get the latest up and adam's content right on youtube